It's a universal experience. Frequently, the twin flame connection seems to hover between joy and suffering. It can be enchanting for a period, only to turn tumultuous shortly after. Trust me, I understand. I've had my moments of inconsolable sobbing, angrily tossing things across the room and sincerely cursing the day I encountered my twin flame. Yet, I've also experienced moments of feeling incredibly blessed to have crossed paths with my twin recognizing that my life would be incomplete without him. The journey becomes isolating, particularly for many divine feminines who often serve as the enduring half of the twin pair. It seems that much of the responsibility for sustaining the union falls on us, or at least that's how it sometimes feels. This is not a critique of the efforts and contributions of divine masculines. They bring leadership, organization, and logical insight to the union they are the engine. However, the car itself represents the divine feminine. What good is an engine without a car to harness its power and propel it forward? The divine masculine and the divine feminine are integral parts of a unified whole. They depend on each other. Nevertheless, there exists a global imbalance of masculine and feminine energy. In my view, Without intending to criticize, the divine masculine appears to be more imbalanced overall, compared to the divine feminine. Allow me to elaborate on that. For countless centuries, our society has operated within a patriarchal framework, where the predominant source of power lay with the big man or the big men. In this patriarchal era, the role of the little woman has been notably marginalized throughout history. What exactly do I mean by this? The influence of organized religion, advancements in mathematics and science, and essentially the evolution into modern civilization all of these have been characterized by a patriarchal structure. However, in many tribal-based eras of history, spanning civilizations and even pre-civilization, our ancient ancestors embraced matriarchal systems. Whether embodied by the Greek war goddesses, prehistoric fertility goddess statuettes, or Native American shamanesses, the reverence for the matriarch symbolized an era of unity, sacredness, and love. Fast forward to the present age of serial dating, and times have undergone a drastic transformation. Unfortunately, we now inhabit a world where three out of four marriages end in divorce, fractured and disrupted families are the norm, and the burden of financial concerns seems ubiquitous. In such challenging times, encountering your twin flame or soulmate can disrupt your entire existence and shatter your understanding of everything. The reason behind this disruption is clear. Meeting your twin flame compels internal growth. Your twin flame union implores you to listen to your soul, let go of your baggage, embrace your most authentic self, love unconditionally, and, of course, be your best self alongside your twin flame. Consider the detonation of internal conflicts when the soul communicates its aspirations to your brain, contrasting with societal expectations. While your soul urges you to evolve into your most successful self alongside someone who triggers your pain and sensitivities, your brain and society vehemently advise. Be normal. Don't follow your heart, follow your head. Avoid recklessness, you barely know yourself, let alone this person. Cling to what's familiar, not what might be better for you. Embrace insecurity. Conform to commercial attractiveness, akin to television models. Guard yourself from vulnerability, wear a mask, accumulate more possessions, engage in casual encounters without cultivating meaningful relationships, tinder culture. Believe you'll never be good enough, smart enough, rich enough, or attractive enough. The discord among the head, heart, and soul in this modern era is evident. How does this relate to letting go of expectations when you've reached a breaking point with your twin flame? Firstly, my twin flame has an unparalleled ability to irk me. 
We could be joyfully navigating a forest of lollipops and rainbows and suddenly, he does something that bothers me. I respond with sarcasm, he places me in that little woman space. Tensions rise, sexual energy intensifies. We exchange heated words, he expresses care. I respond with sweetness, we reconcile, and the storm dissipates. Returning to a serene state of gumdrops and rainbows. Indeed, your twin flame has a unique talent for triggering you. He offers me a sense of safety by understanding my vulnerabilities and enveloping me in his warmth, creating a secure space through those vulnerabilities. Simultaneously, he may employ my vulnerabilities against me during an argument. He integrates me into his life, excelling at conveying his emotions and practicing inclusivity. Yet, he may withdraw into a shell, only allowing me back into his internal universe once he feels secure. He can be stubborn and challenging, yet also endearing and angelic. My divine masculine sometimes, I ponder how two individuals can magnetically attract and repel each other so flawlessly. When you've reached a breaking point with your twin flame, there are a few crucial reminders to keep in mind. Social conditioning, particularly in our contemporary era, proves to be quite challenging. It's crucial to recognize that some of the triggers experienced by your twin flame are a result of the complexities of the world we inhabit. See the soul reflected in your twin. Hear their struggles, forgive them and love them. Direct your love towards the divine essence within them transcending the influence of societal conditioning. Living in a patriarchal society undergoing a gradual shift towards elevated consciousness, divine masculine, and divine feminines need to understand that the world is gradually achieving a more balanced state. Each individual plays a significant role in this transformation, starting from within. Childhood conditioning and traumas persist, affecting both you and your twin flame. Assist in releasing those wounds by offering unconditional love and presence. Understand that you and your twin flame are destined to be together. Disregard any claims suggesting otherwise. Whether your twin flame is running, chasing, or facing challenges, continue to love them and hold space in your heart. They are your literal other half and no external opinion, including your fears, should dictate otherwise. Be their guiding light home. In the twin flame union, strength alternates between partners based on need. This innate understanding allows each twin flame to be delicate or strong as required. Embrace the telepathic connection between you and your twin flame to facilitate healing and growth. Prioritize self-love and personal growth, as a thriving twin flame union demands honesty and self-care. To conclude, releasing expectations demands substantial effort both individually and within the twin flame union. There's no shortcut, but the journey towards harmonious union is immensely rewarding. The path may be challenging, but the prospect of experiencing heaven on earth makes the journey worthwhile I would willingly travel a considerable distance for such bliss.